greetings. Welcome back to Pink Oddbird. Today I'm going to go a little bit fast because I have three books to show you. I tried to do something a little bit different. I've worked strictly out of my stash and I've come up with three books. It's a trilogy and I'm calling it the Sun Drifter Trilogy. And I'm going to do a flip through of the three books right now. So the first, the first little book in the Summer Trilogy is called um, Summer Days. It is a mini book. It's a hardcover. On the cover, I have an old necklace that I just attached here and here. And then I have a little feather here. And on the front, just a flower, and it's layered with some ribbons and fabric. So this is what it looks like. Um, this is a fabric that's going to be recurring. It, it gave me kind of like a boho sort of feeling, and so that's how I came up with the theme for like a boho summer um, series. And um, I got that piece of fabric from Sheila in Canada. So uh, thank you, Sheila. All right, so the insides are mostly pretty plain. Um, okay, so like I said, I used every shred of the fabric that she sent um, in this particular fabric. There was nothing left over, which was my goal. So um, I was happy to be able to do that. <laughs> so lots of um, fabric in these books, lots of sewing. Um, really kind of inspired by uh, Nick the Booksmith as well as um, Amity Bloom. And uh, I love both of their styles, so I was kind of, you know, having that in mind, but kind of still staying to, you know, my, my style, um, which I think I did. There's lots of neat uh, vintage like the vintage papers, I noticed they're thinner, which I love um, because they have like a nice texture and sound to them. So this is a decoupage napkin. I got tabs there. There's two signatures in this book. Some old vintage graph paper I got at an estate sale. Some stamping throughout. Another little tag. I felt like denim. This is a tag that I got from uh, Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. Another journaling card here. I got this paper from Shana and I coffee stained it and it kind of, the lines bleed, but I love the way it looks because it has green, blue, pink, purple, just all kinds of colors. So I have lots of little um, fabric. Um, layouts, I guess. This is a small little tip-in. Amity Bloom uh, does that a lot in her books. Some uh, hole punch there with the Martha Stewart, Martha's, Martha Stewart punch. <laughs> uh, in the center, I just have some sunflowers I laid in there. Um, more of those fabrics um, layouts. Lots of fabric washi in here as well. More layering with muslin. I sewed um, the punch outs from like the punches I used throughout the book onto the fabric layouts. Thought that was kind of a good use for them. More thin paper. This was actually vintage lined paper, but the lines actually really kind of go away when you coffee stain it, which I don't mind so much. Another little tiny tip in. That's some cotton that I have. So I just made a tuck spot out of this little piece of uh, ribbon ruffle. Center of the second signature. Poetry. So as you can see, just a lot of different little papers in here and um, I think it's going to make a neat little notebook. I, I will be listing all of these in my Etsy shop which I will link to below. There's another little tip in. Little card and some more napkin decoupaged 
And then in the back of the book, I just have a spare, um, some decorative paper that was spare. And then I have a doily that I coffee stained. And on the front, there's a, a vintage calling card on the front that I just put down with some washi. And I made this into an envelope. And on the inside, I just have a little um, Seven Gypsies tag, ticket. And uh, so this is really delicate. And there's my stamp for that one. So this is Summer Days. Set it to the side. The second book is a file folder cover. And this one is called Book in a Hammock. Um, on the front, I have just layered lace, cotton, book page, and um, this is a book plate that I got at a thrift store. It says from the library of. So that, that uh, name was inspired by my sister. I asked her what she thinks of when she thinks of a lazy summer. She said a book in a hammock. Um, this whole book is covered in the fabric and it's got seam binding closure. And there's a little um, garment pen, garment pen here with um, like some beads and a little heart charm. And the seam binding was dyed with brush corduroy, vintage photo, and old paper. And so it's just a single signature. On the inside, uh, I love it. It took me forever to do this, but so on the inside cover. Um, I have layered cheesecloth underneath that's coffee stained, and then I also have muslin that I decoupaged um, napkin and book page onto, and then I um, collaged some sheer, this sheer kind of like fabric that you probably can't really see, that on top of there, and there's also some stamping that I did, and then I sewed around the edges twice. Um, it's beautiful. I love it. It took me a while, but I love it. <laughs> So again, in this book, same thing, a lot of the um, fabric stacks. Um, so here, oh, look at this little tiny, tiny tag I got from Shayna. It's so small and cute. <laughs> so on that other tag, I also got this tag from Shayna, which I just topped it with cheesecloth. So we have a little pull out here. That's more paper from Shayna. Another tag from Cindy. I just got some layering here. So um, that's coffee filter that I stained. And then these were just scrap pieces of muslin and then some gold ribbon and lace. And I think, yeah, that's it. So again, sewing in this book. Some of the thin vintage papers that I love. This is a vintage one also. So I've got decoupage napkin here. I've got a whole um, a butterfly punch. Journaling card in the bag. Ribbon ruffle. Vel the vel Velveteen Rabbit book page. Some more paper from Shana. Doily, vintage graph, grid graph paper. This book, I think I stamped it in um, brown archival ink. So another cotton pocket, and then I've just got some cards in here. That one came from Shana also. Center of the signature. Some little pieces of trim here and there. I apologize if I'm going like really fast, but I'm trying to keep this video to a limit. <laughs> so I will be sure to post pictures um, as well. Uh, on my Facebook page as well as in Etsy guest check that I got from Shayna also. I love these things and I'm so happy that I finally have some. So a fabric tab. Um, again, like I said with these books, what I did was, I love this page, I just used everything um, that I have in my stash. I'm trying to sort of deplete it a little bit and um, I felt like this was a good way to, to get started. Um, what inspired me initially was the fabric and then from there I pulled out papers from my stash. Um, this is a coffee filter pocket that I sewed 
and there's it's a double pocket so in the main pocket there's just this little jean tab with muslin waffle muslin on top and then this little tiny tag from Shayna in the front that I backed on um, cardstock and then it goes behind this book plate that also says from the library of and Charlie Brown some more writing paper washi tape another fabric stack I love these I think I love the way I did all the little sewing with the um, punch outs I think that's super neat and then um, this is the back of the book there's my stamp so that is a uh, book in a hammock the last book is the actual Sun Drifter book um, so obviously it's called Sun Drifter. <laughs> uh, on the front cover, sorry, I have like, I've been sewing like a mad woman. Um, so I have just um, some bias tape. Um, the gold sequence here was a scrap from my cat scrapbook, or from the cat uh, journal that I did. It represents the sun. And then I have this cellophane paper left over from a gift basket that I did. And a long time ago, I got these um, fake flower spays in a haul from a uh, sale. And this was what I wanted to do with them. So that's what I did. So again, the entire book is covered with the fabric. And there's cheesecloth layered underneath. Um, this is the back of the book. I'll be sure to put the dimensions and stuff. But this one is long and skinny. Um, there's a charm. I didn't permanently attach the charm because I wasn't sure. Um, so it's on with this like elastic. So you can either decide you can attach it here if you want to. Um, you'll just have to punch it. Um, or you can take this off and move it somewhere else. But this was like an old necklace that was not a really great looking necklace. But it makes a great looking charm. I just rearranged the charms and... That's what it that's what it looks like now. So on the inside, so I love this feather paper. Um, lots of sewing again, coffee stained everything. More velveteen rabbit paper. There's a bag here. I think this one's empty. Yeah. And then I sewed this bag so that it's also a tuck spot here. So in the center of each signature, there's this um, sort of vellum paper, and I just printed on the vellum paper um, and just added them into the signatures. There's three signatures, and I got this idea from Dolly at Gypsy Rose Papery. She gave me a book that was filled with uh, um, that kind of printing. Um, some more napkin decoupage here. Graph paper, lace. I love these little, um, it's a sticker, but I left it backed so that you can do whatever you want to do with it. So here on this fabric stack, I have layered waffle muslin bias tape, some sheer fabric, and then I have a vintage stamp and that's a six cent stamp from back back in the day. Some pull outs here. More fabric washi in this book as well. Blanket binding that I coffee stained and it ends up looking like avocado stain, which I'm sure the camera's not picking up. <laughs> More napkin decoupage. center of the second signature. This is a night poem that I got from the graphics fairy. But yeah, so I have, um, oh, <laughs> this is another one of those pullouts. So if I take the paper clip off, it pulls out. And then in there, I've tucked in this little, it's from an old address book, a vintage one that I picked up at a sale. And I picked the letters UV because uh, UV rays 
So summertime, get it. <laughs> um, so I put that in there. So that's the end of that signature. And then the third signature, the final signature, pocket here with some grid um, tags in there. The one of my game pieces from um, a sale that I went to and it's a, uh, they're made in Italy. So I have an envelope here. This is the center of the third signature. Another image from the graphics fairy. This, I just decoupaged the bottom of this napkin um, at the bottom of the page. Some other, another uh, fabric um, stack that I have vintage stamps sewed onto. Not the vintage stamps. Get out. I got this from uh, Dolly at Gypsy Rose Papery, her Etsy store. And then I have this tag that says G is for genuine. And that's the back of the book. There's my stamp. And that completes the trilogy. So, like I said, these will all be listed in my Etsy shop. Thank you all for watching. Check the description box for the links on how you can purchase these. And until next time, toodaloo.